Let's see Wrath of Khan. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I watched it. I watched it this weekend. It was great. It was every bit as good as I remember. Uh, and dated as I remember. <laughs> I'll get into that. Uh, but wow, this movie is so good. Did you got the... Ah, I see. Well, the stakes are so high in this movie. It's fantastic. I wanted to get all of yeah, I'm sure. Because it's a great image, yeah. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, the stakes are so high. I mean, it's it's interesting because it's the whole Genesis pro project. And the Genesis project, if you know about the film, is this where they can somehow create a matrix in which it could turn inert matter into living matter. And all of a sudden, like, bloom life. It's a, what they call it, like a MacGuffin or whatever. It's it's basically a finger of God where we can turn on this device and boom, turn a barren asteroid into a living, breathing planetoid, planetoid or something like that. It's amazing. All right. It could be a terrible weapon for, <laughs> for evil because of the nature of its uh, matrix, but it could do amazing things in terms of terraforming, which is a big deal when it comes to uh, the next step of a galactic civilization is being able to terraform other planets. And so uh, that's why the stakes are so high. And because these stakes are so high and Kirk and Spock and the whole team, they know that they're, they're concerned about this Genesis project, but they don't know about the Reliant who's over there on SETI Alpha 6. What is it, 7? I forgot. SETI, SETI Alpha 6. And they run into Khan Noonan Singh again. And that's the whole great part of this uh, because this goes back all the way to the series. Because uh, Ricardo Montalban played Khan Noonan Singh in one of the episodes in the series. I one or two episodes. I can't remember. And uh, Ricardo Montalban. <sighs> Classic. They don't really make actors like that anymore. Even though he had that rubber, rubber man chest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it looks like that's what I mean. It looks kind of dated. Some of the props look dated. Uh, Spock's uh, the mirror in Spock's room. It's like, dude, this is the this is the weirdest night early '80s bachelor pad I've ever seen. Spock. <laughs> and so, uh, you, you I mean, you gotta love it. The stakes are so high. And when uh, Khan captures the Reliant and the Genesis, you know, and they he comes in contact with Kirk for the first time, and Kirk doesn't know who he's facing. He thinks he's facing a friend. Spoilers, I guess. <laughs> I'm ruining this excellent movie if you haven't seen it. But why haven't you? Um, and so he's approaching him, like, not with caution. It's just a little bit of like, hey, you know, this is a friendly ship. And boy, Khan's got the jump on him. And woo, he hits hits the Enterprise hard. You know, a lot of people die. No main characters, don't worry. <laughs> just a bunch of red shirts. It doesn't matter. And uh, and uh, then they're on their heels for the almost the rest of the movie. And it is a fantastic, fantastic uh, battle between these two men and how, like, uh, Khan gets in Kirk's head and Kirk gets, gets in Khan's head. Khan! How do you not love this movie? You know, and I was even thinking about the captain of the Reliant, what a hero he was, right? And how gypped he got. Because uh, the captain of the Reliant, he got the earwig in with uh, Chekhov, right? And if you remember this scene, right, they're sitting there on, uh, on the Genesis, in the Genesis place. And they're like, uh, thank you. Thank you, Captain Kirk. You let us right to them. You know? And Khan orders the captain to shoot Kirk with the phaser. Also, you see a phaser on kill for the first time, I think. And we just vaporized a guy. <laughs> and you're like, oh, damn, those things are badass. You know? <laughs> and he says, kill Kirk. And the captain, he just tries to fight it with his elbow. It just ends up turning the phaser on himself. What a hero. Unsung hero of the movie. And then, and then Chekhov just falls asleep and the thing comes out of his ear. It's like, dude, why don't you just hit him on the head? If you, all you need is a nap and then the thing will come out. How did Chekhov get, so, get off so easy in that? Oh, main character. Main character. So I guess maybe the stakes weren't there very, very high. At all. <laughs> but it is an excellent movie. I highly recommend it, even though it's dated. Um, 11 of 13 stars. 11 of 13 stars. God!